Leo, how are you guys? This is the Mystic Leo and my name is Isa. I am the Mama Leo around here. I am a very proud Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Okay, we're going to take a look at um, how your person feels about you. We'll also take a look at how you feel about your person. Uh, what this person wants from the connection. We're going to take a look at what their next moves are. Um, you know, future actions and the potential outcome. Okay, so we're diving right in here. All right, guys, please take what resonates for you and leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, Leo, then definitely check uh, the older readings or your moon rising in Venus on my other channel. It's linked down below. It's called the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Last but not least, guys, please don't forget if it's magnificent and you like it, don't forget to give it the pause up. Okay. The love button. We call it the love, AKA the love button. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell and come on back. See me sometime. All right, guys. All right, cool. Let's jump in here. I'm going to get um, an overall energy for you and then an overall energy for your person. Okay. What's Leo's energy overall regarding this connection, please? Oh, King of Pentacles. Okay, I like it. I like it so far. Show me this person's energy with Leo. What's their overall energy regarding this connection? Is the Five of Cups. Okay, so your person's feeling some sorrow and some regret here, which um, is not surprising, okay? I pulled a couple of cards before we even got started here just to cut some time, and I had blame and empathy and a time for healing. So... What your girl's picking up is that uh, your person might have done something here and they feel bad about it, okay? Um, either they're blaming their self for whatever happened or you're blaming them. The empathy card says, I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation, okay? So, you know, I feel for some of you, this is about you being able to see your part in it. And for others of you, this is about your person finally being able to see themselves, okay, in this situation and maybe how they might have hurt you, okay? Because sometimes, like, people don't often have an awareness of how they act or how they behave. They only can point the finger and blame somebody else and say, this is your fault. I acted this way because of you doing something right and they have a hard time taking responsibility for themselves so that's what I make up about this so far that this person might have a hard time taking care of themselves and then we have a time for healing okay so you could be working on healing this connection with this person or maybe it's just that you know this person needs some healing okay so let's just jump right in here and see what's up all right Let's take a look at how they feel first. Their thoughts and feelings toward Leo, please. Spirits, gods, angels, all my funky bunch. <laughs> Hold on. I don't even have my mic plugged in, you guys. Hold up. This isn't a Leo party until I'm plugged in. What is this thing on? <laughs> all right. So, now, here we go. Here we go officially. All right. So, let's take a look at what your person's thinking and feeling about you in this connection, okay? What are they thinking and feeling about this connection with Leo? What did I do here? Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. What are they thinking and feeling about my Leos, please? What are their thoughts and feelings? What are their thoughts and feelings? You're blocking them big time. You're, you're not letting them get to you. Whatever this is, <clears throat> they experience you as like you're unbothered, okay? The unbotheredness of a Leo, okay? So um, you might not be talking to them or you're not being bothered by them to a swords. They see you as stuck. Um, seven of wands, somebody who's got some really strong boundaries, uh, but to the point where you're like really shutting this person out. Okay. You must be upset, Leo. 
What else? What else are they thinking and feeling about Leo? They want to fight for you, though. Ooh, they think you're not trusting your intuition. The audacity. Let me tell you something. Okay. And that's the Seven of Cups. Okay. Let me think about this for a second, okay? This person really feels like they have a lot of thoughts about you. It's weird because I think that they're thinking they're your only option. Okay, I know that sounds bizarre, but like this person thinks you're not trusting your intuition about them. You're fighting against like you're fighting against being with them or something like that, okay? They're like romanticizing the um, the connection in their head. Um, well, that's interesting. Okay, and I'm going to clarify this, all right, guys? Let's see. Now show me what they're thinking deep, deep down. Show me what they're thinking deep, deep down. Show me how they feel deep down. Okay, you're... Yes. Okay. You, Leo... Okay, this person sees you as, they're really super, okay, so they're very, very stressed out, okay? They have a lot of anxiety. They feel like you are, I feel almost like, like they're in love with you, okay? Ten of Cups. They see a happy life with you, but they also feel that like they want a new beginning here ace of swords they're really clear about how happy they feel about you and their feelings about you and it's also surrounded with a lot of stress okay a lot of anxiety they have a lot of anxiety about making an offer toward you okay because this person doesn't feel good enough anymore um and you might have left the connection or they feel left out or abandoned by you okay i don't know what what went down here or if this is just this person's the way they think okay let's see their next steps toward leo please what are their next steps? Thank you. That was quick. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, boys. They're going to try it again. Okay. What else? What are their next steps, please, toward Leo? The Fool. Yep. They want a new beginning judgment. They want you to give them a second chance, whoever this is, Leo. Um... They want you to forget. I feel like they want you to forgive them with the judgment card. Okay. Their mind is made up with the fool. You could be dealing with an Aries that they, um, they're fully invested. Seven of Pentacles. I don't know. This person doesn't want to give up on you, Leo. Okay. They know that you're pretty pissed off at them right now. They know that you don't want to talk to them right now. This person thinks that you're being delusional. <laughs> if you've like split up with them or you're not talking to them for some reason, like, they feel bad about whatever it is they did. I'm going to check it out with the Five of Cups. But, you know, with the High Priestess, they seem to think... There could be something that came out about this person, too. But they seem to think that you're not trusting that this is some sort of divine connection. Okay? That you're in your head. You're not in your heart about this. You're thinking too much. You're overthinking this. And you're fighting them for no reason here. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah. Their next moves. They want to come toward you. What's their intention with the next move? What's their intention? 
Six of Wands, they want victory with you, okay? They want to win. This person wants to win your heart again, okay? They want to win you over. If you're like not talking or separated, they, they want you to see them. They want you to recognize them. They want you to choose them, okay? All right, so, oh boy, this is a lot. Um, let's start clarifying this, and then I'm going to get into what you're thinking and feeling about this person, okay, Leo? Because it wouldn't be fun if we didn't have a little bit of drama. I did not make coffee today. These cats are wild. Sachi is jumping all over the place. We're just having a grand old time today. Ooh, it's the Mad Hatter Tea Party. <laughs> That's what it feels like, you know? A uh, very merry birthday to you, to you. <laughs> all right why does this person have the five of cups as their energy right now why do they have to fight because of the five of cups oh my god talk about some depression this this person's miserable okay <laughs> they're miserable without you okay what's going what else what else they're grieving this hard they feel like they lost you um, they're pitying themselves as well. What else with this Five of Cups? Thank you. The Three of Pentacles. Hold on. I have a random... Now tell me why, Jesus, is there a random card in here? Let's see what it is. Five of Wands. Drama! This person is probably a lot of drama. Okay. Um, I feel like... You know what? I'm going to say this. This person's nuts. They're crying for themselves, okay? That's what I get with a double five of cups. This is not, I feel bad that I lost Leo. This is, I'm so sad I got caught. Terrell and your toxicity, you see them rocks? Go kick them, bitch. Okay? This is, uh, I got caught, okay? Um, and... Also, three of pentacles represents people that play roles, okay? So I feel like your person could be waking up here, all jokes aside, they're waking up to the thought to the thought of the possibility that they had a hand in this, okay? Because I get that there's an, an energy of like, you're just being obnoxious, Leo, and you're not getting it about... Um, you know, high priestess in reverse Pisces energy. It could be dealing with a Pisces and Aries. Uh, that's what I got so far. Um, you're just not getting it about the connection, okay? But now this person is starting to see, well, maybe I'm part of the problem here. I, I, I made Leo the, the problem, but maybe, just maybe, I might be the problem. And I'm still going to feel sorry for myself, okay? Talk to me about the Two of Swords. I'm not going to clarify every card, guys, okay, because we'll be here all night. I'm trying to keep these to a minimum. Trying. Okay, strength. Yeah, they think that you're just holding back. You're trying to be in control of yourself, okay? Um, cat in the cat box. Okay, two of swords. Why else is that here? two of pentacles they they just think you're holding back that you you know they want you to be more flexible here with the two of pentacles you see this leo right um you could be dealing with another leo they think maybe you're just busy or whatever but i think what they're thinking is like you you're just they want you to be flexible right give up this this thing that makes you fight against them, whatever this is, okay? Um, you're two of swords right now, so you're not talking to them or you're blocking them. You're not letting them into your heart, Leo. That's, what, that's where they're at. But Leo's not letting me into their heart type of thing, okay? So I don't really know what y'all are dealing with or going through here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? You're fighting them. You're fighting You're fighting your love for them. You're holding back your love for them or how you feel about them. That's what this person thinks, okay? And if the delusion fits, put it on. <laughs> I'm just being goofy, y'all. I'm just saying, okay? All right. Okay, so... Yes, this person thinks that you are being unfair to them, justice, that you never blame Leo too. 
because whoever this is needs to also have you hold yourself accountable for whatever it is that you did. Now, whether or not you did something, that ain't my business. This is a Libra card, just letting you know, okay, um, with the Seven of Wands. It, you know, they feel like they're trying to figure out a way here, Seven of Swords, to get around your... Um, your Fort Knox, okay? They're trying to figure out how to get around your Fort Knox. This person also, I'll say this, feels that you have done something to deceive them too. Well, you cheated too. Well, you told lies too. Well, you did this and that, okay? So they're trying to bring you down to their level, Leo. And whether you or not you did that shit, that ain't my business, okay? I just read the cards, Okay, fam. So, but this is how this person is feeling that you're being unfair. You're judging them when you did this stuff too. <clears throat> I don't see a wrong Leo in the building. Does anybody else see a wrong Leo here? Eh, I didn't think so. All righty. Okay. High priestess in reverse. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Don't make me find this person, okay? All right. All right. They think you're being really harsh on them. Um, you're, you're very much not fair. King of Swords in reverse, you know. Um, you're really in your head. You're nasty. You're being mean to them, okay? They were not, they were not prepared for for how you were going to deal with whatever this situation is okay so this person is really trying to i feel like and please feel free to reverse this feel free to you know what this is going to be for you i don't they're really trying to get you to like don't lie you know you did things when you probably didn't okay i don't know what else with this high priestess in reverse Okay, yeah, you're being delusional. <laughs> Star in reverse and Aquarius, okay? So, um, you know, you have to love them. You should love them. You should give them another chance or 10 chances or whatever. This person, you know, you are probably emotionally drained and they can see you that way, but they think that you're just being unrealistic. You're not trusting whatever this is between you guys, all right? Let's look at um, the deeper feelings, okay? The deeper feelings. Let's look at this page of pentacles. This person's afraid you're going to reject them, okay? Five of, yep, the death card, okay? They're afraid, okay? They're afraid of this ending, even if it's yucky, even if it doesn't work. It's like this person is having uh, the refusal to let go here, okay? Scorpio energy. They don't want it to change whatever they've idealized in their mind about the connection. They don't want it to change, okay, Leo? This, is this person okay? You should check on them, okay? Um, they don't want it to change, okay? They want to start again. They want a new beginning here, okay? Okay. Sorry, my daughter just texted me. Okay, Ace of Swords. What's that? Okay, Four of Swords. Okay, they know that the connection has to heal. Um, they do know that deep down, but deep down they're refusing to let go of this, okay? They don't really want to accept wherever you're at with this or that um, they're, they're, you, can't, you guys can't fix this somehow, okay? They want to fix this. They want you to hear them out, okay? Um, they think that right now you're just in like a recovery period. We're going to see how you really feel. What's the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Cups? Yep, the world. They want a new beginning. Just like I thought. Okay. Um, <laughs> Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. Uh, I'm getting those energies really strong throughout this reading. I also had... Pisces and Libra. Okay. So, um, yeah, this person, 
you're their world. Uh, they really want to talk to you about all of this. They want to figure this out somehow, okay? Because this person now is starting to realize that um, even though they want to hold on to it, they're trying to bring you to their level like you've also done bad things or whatever, okay? And I don't know if you have or you haven't. Not my circus, not my monkeys, alrighty? But this person wants to see a happy family. You make them emotionally happy. You make them feel complete or whole. You give them hope. You know, they feel like they can achieve things here with you, Leo, because you're in their life, all right? So next steps, tell me why we have the fool, the judgment, and the seven of pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, oh my God. I mean, come on. Like, to clarify all of this, son, son, I'm going to need you to be more clear. Okay, six of cups. Uh, six of cups, judgment, and the fool. I mean, if this person doesn't want another chance or a new beginning with you, I don't know what the fuck else. Okay, just saying. All right, I mean, do I really need to clarify more here? But let's go. The hair font. Yeah, they want to make you their, theirs. Okay, um, they just they want you to follow what they what they want. Okay, so this person for some of you it could be a selfish person. They just want what they want, but they want to marry you. They want to be with you. They want to commit to you. Okay, I don't know if they had those issues in the past. We're not really going there. There, uh, their next move. You know, also what they really want. Six of Wands. Their next move. Knight of Wands, okay, they're coming toward you, okay? They're going to take a bold action. Um, you know, they're, they're confident that they can get you back somehow. I mean, really? Let's... <laughs> now that we've come to this portion of the reading, let's dive into what Leo thinks about this person. Okie dokie. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so... We're going to dive in and see what Leo thinks. This person wants to come toward you. Okay, six of wands. They they really want victory here. That's what they're going to do. They're going to ride out. They're going to get on their little horse with their big old stick. Big old wood. Okay, and they're going to come at you. They might try to sexual healing. They might try it. Just saying. They might throw it. They might be like, hey, girl, hey, mm, in your DMs, right? So, um, you know, they want victory with you, okay? This person wants success. Straight up. Straight up, now tell me. Boop, boop, ba -da -da. All right. Hey, it's my cup. It's the premiere of my cup. Isn't this an awesome cup? I got it at Walgreens. All righty then. Your overall energy, King of Pentacles. Mind on my money and my money on my mind. Okay. That's where you're at, Leo. Don't even play with me. You're into stability. You're into taking care of yourself. You're all about, you know, doing the right things here. Okay. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. Okay, let's see. What is uh, Leo thinking and feeling about this person? Four of Cups, you're bored. Okay, the Tower, the Eight of Wands. Okay, you are communicating to or very passionate about ending this. Okay, Four of Cups. I need one more card, please. How does Leo think and feel? The Chariot. Leo, you're over it. You've moved on. We have the Chariot Cancer Energy. We have the Eight of Wands. You could be traveling or moving. You're moving away from this person. We also have the Tower Scorpio Aries Energy. And we have the Four of Cups. If this ain't I'm so over this shit, then I don't really know what is. Okay? You just want to move on. Um, it may be for some of you that you just want to move past the issues, okay? You want this person to take responsibility for whatever they've done. You want change. You want to move forward, okay? Chariot. You want to move forward. Whatever this is, it doesn't, whether you want to be with them or not, Leo, your path is forward, okay? Tell me Leo's deepest feelings about this person, the deepest feelings that Leo really feels, okay? 
All right, what does Leo really feel about this person deep down? Oh, we got an extra. Everything about this person gives instability for you okay leo uh, so i don't feel like you have ten of swords some of your feelings are not there anymore i'm gonna say wheel of fortune your feelings have changed okay they've changed um you've ended that chapter that cycle you might see this as a painful cycle for you that you either went through with this person or that you've had in relationships okay so you're like how can i get some more dead presidents right now that's where my mind's at okay you're over this um particular connection two of pentacles six of pentacles you see it as uh, something where you were being breadcrumbed. It was never really an equal give and take. King of Wands, you know, some of you feel like maybe you're questioning whether or not this was actually love or a deeper or just a sex, sex, sexual connection for you. I'm trying not to say the things because I don't want to be in trouble, okay? I'm trying to do my best here, all right? So um, for some of you, this was fun. It's like, it's it's not I don't want to say it wasn't deep it wasn't love but now it, it's sort of like in retrospect is the word that comes to me you're looking back like I had a beautiful time this was a great thing and this hurt me so much I need to move forward now okay so some of you are thinking and feeling that some of you are back and forth about whether or not you want to allow your person to move back in and truly reconcile with them okay because um, you feel you've you're the one who's been hurt so it's a little bit of you did it no you did it you did it no you did it so there's a demise in the connection and there's some blame going back and forth but connections fall apart because two people are involved in them right someone loses feelings or someone reacts or somebody does something and then somebody says i don't want this or whatever right you stop talking to each other whatever it is um you know, I think that you are attracted to this person on some level, but when it comes to the stability of what this is, two of pentacles and, you know, the six of pentacles, you're very back and forth about that because you see that this person doesn't really have that kind of stability that you need and that you, the reliability is what, what my guides just gave me. By the way, I would like to introduce my guides wherever they might be. You might see an orb or something. I don't know. Sometimes it happens in my videos. But uh, Jeffrey is one of my guides. It's so weird. My WhatsApp just went off. <laughs> I know you guys know I'm talking about you. Jeffrey and Storm are two of my guides. Uh, I also work with Anubis, okay? I know this is weird information for some of you. But um, these are the spirits the spirit team that I have, the entities that, that work with me. Okay. Just FYI. I just never said it before. So I figured I'd finally introduce them because they're my peoples. All right. <laughs> and I, I love that I got two men. <laughs> like, how did I, I got three men. How did I end up with all these mans? <laughs> all right. So I'm really getting, there's something about the sanctity of the relationship. That's so weird to me. Um, the sanctity of the relationship. There's something about, it could just be for one person, but feeling violated in the relationship. Like somebody didn't hear you or somebody didn't, you know, you might have said, don't do that. And somebody just did that, right? Or um, you felt like this was a sacred connection with somebody and they shared something deeply personal about you outside or they were with somebody else or they did a connection or they lied. Whatever it is for you, there's something about the sanctity or the something that you felt in this connection that feels violated. I get just like violated, okay? I'm going to try not to go long here, but I'm really in this um I'm really in this reading right now with you guys. So, let's see your next moves. Strength. <clears throat> okay. Leo's next moves. 
Okay, you're going to stick to your guns here. You have Taurus Energy, the Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Okay, so for you, you're remaining loyal to those who remain loyal to you. Okay, you're looking for your peoples. Um, you're con going to continue building, uh, doing for yourself and moving forward here. Okay. Regardless of whatever happens, you are detaching is what I feel like you're detaching from, uh, the situation, um, as much as you can, so you can continue to move forward. It's weird. Um, but this person is in the belief that you still want to be with them somehow. Okay. Like, they still believe that you want to be with them. Okay. Let's look at the potential outcome. The Emperor, Aries energy. <laughs> I feel like with the Emperor and the Five of Wands in reverse, I feel like whatever disagreement you have for some of you you're going to end this disagreement okay you're going to end whatever arguing whatever energy you've had between the two of you i feel like you're going to end it okay but leo i don't see any cups here so i don't see that your heart is really in it we'll go ahead and clarify and see if your heart is actually in this connection for some of you i feel like you might you might give it a chance but there's going to have to be some real teamwork that happens here in this connection with the strength card some of you might actually hold on to this connection okay and get this person to commit to making changes uh so that you guys can work this out okay you might both of you might make changes that's only some scenarios okay tell me why we had the king of pentacles over overall two of cups because you really do love this person it is on your mind look at this look at this see that little beep right in his brain it is on your mind. You do care about this person. You do love this person or you did love this person. Okay. For some of you, it's going to be past tense. You're over this connection. For others of you, you do want to work on this connection. You do want to save it somehow. Okay. So it's on your mind, but it needs to be a stable connection. Okay. What's the tower? What happened with the tower? King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody did something. Um, it's this just, it, it, this for many of you, you're not wanting to be in this connection with this person because it requires so much work. Okay. King of pentacles in reverse is like so much work is he's also somebody that's unreliable, uh, somebody who you can't depend on. Okay. Somebody who is not an integrity. You can't trust this person, right? Um, maybe they're not making enough money. Okay, so there's a reason, there's a real reason here for you guys to separate from this person or for you guys to demand that there's there's some sort of change, okay? And this person maybe doesn't have the emotional intelligence like you do to understand that there are bigger things uh, when it comes to love, okay? And for you, you're seeing some stuff and you're like, and then there's that, okay? So interesting there's some sort of corruption or something here too what's the eight of wands king of cups you have explained to this person that you do have feelings for them you care about them okay you do care about this person you love them you've been tolerant of a lot of different changes and things that this person has done um and you have said a lot of things to support this person in changing okay but maybe that's not really happened why is the chariot here actually what's the four of cups four of cups i know what the chariot is what's the four of cups yeah three of swords okay it hurts a lot to have to deal with this four of cups you're detaching you're emotionally detaching okay um you you've grown tired you know, uh, you have your, it's like 
your mind is you're trying to focus on this but you can't and you don't want to okay because it's, it feels very draining for some of you um somebody might have said some really hurtful things to you okay they might have betrayed you there could have been a third party i don't know what y'all's situation is you figure that one out okay deep down wheel of fortune why is that here five of wands okay because there when it comes to what's next for you in your life you're beginning to feel like you and this person may not be on the same page so whatever triggered this incident has got you already thinking maybe mm, i don't know okay some of you are thinking maybe i don't know about this all right you're like we don't really have anything in common here okay What's the Ten of Swords? What happened here with the Ten of Swords? Okay. Yeah. I, I feel as if... This person made it may have made you feel like you're incapable okay um i feel also that you're seeing that this person is very argumentative they're not they're not on the same page as you okay uh they might spend a lot of money on fri frivolous things the nine of pentacles in reverse page of pentacles this person is also not financially responsible on top of all of this stuff okay but this is also about the inability to have ownership for whatever they have said or done okay they're seeing you this way you're seeing them this way okay so definitely we have a stalemate okay everybody thinks the other person should be the one who says or does something okay so if you're gonna stay with this person y'all need some help y'all need counseling okay you need counseling uh what else do we have here king wands two of pentacles why do we have two of pentacles six of pentacles Okay, you definitely feel that this person um, has insecurity issues and they think they can think very negatively. You, you feel that they think very negatively about you as well. Okay, what else? Give me one more card. You feel that this person also gets bored really easy okay um they crave a lot of attention so they've been back and forth between you and maybe another person or other people it could be things it doesn't matter it could be a job okay like this person craves a, a hole that you cannot fill for them all right um so i have a feeling that this person may have gotten caught in a in a, a situation here or something happened and they're trying to explain it away and be like well you did this so that's why i did that okay so some of you are going to work this out and some of you are not some of y'all are going to let it go double in reverse okay this person definitely has some sort of self-esteem issues but they're their own worst enemy they are their own worst enemy. So I told you how they really feel about you. This person loves you. They want to be with you. Blah, 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 blah. But can they stop fucking it up? That's the question. Because they got this energy just sitting here. Okay. I may have not committed before, but I'm ready now. As soon as they lose you, they're like, oops. Okay. Leo's next actions. Clarify that for me, please. Okay, some of you are going to give this a second chance. I'm not going to lie. Ace of Cups can be a second chance. Some of you are going to move on to somebody else. Okay. Sachi. Give me one more card. Thank you. Some of you are going to let it go. Okay. Some of you... And it doesn't have to be cheating, guys. A lot of people get back together even after somebody cheats, all right? So I know a lot of you are going to try to be like, Isa, I would have never. I know same okay but some people are going to resolve this you're going to let go of whatever it was in the past and give this you're going to nurture this connection and give it a second chance hierophant you put a lot of work into this okay three of pentacles okay working together strength card being loyal to this connection 
okay somebody's gonna choose that it may not be you watching it right right this very second but somebody who comes five minutes later will choose this okay others of you you're just over it you've let go of what the past is past bygones or bygones and you're moving on to some you might even have somebody new here in your life already you have somebody new coming and this is what you want deep down okay your next moves find my soulmate find my find my person okay potential outcome clarify the potential outcome for me Potentially, there's gonna it's gonna take some time. There might be a delay in you guys getting together. Um, there's there will be success moving forward eventually with the chariot. Um, you you'll put down the arguing, okay? It's gonna take time though. And the emperor, I feel like things will come around, but your person has got to show you first that they're willing to. Um, be responsible for themselves and to create change here okay they have to have the will the he they also have to have the willpower to want to change okay they got to want the success in this connection as much as you would want the success in this connection and they can't quote quote play games okay let's see if these will tell us anything about what maybe happened in the connection so um, for others of you, the potential outcome is that you're just, I feel like you're going to block this person and just move forward. Okay, you're no longer arguing with them. You're bossing up the emperor energy and you're just going to move forward. Okay, you're just being in control, doing what you do, controlling the environment, do what you got to. Okay, I'm not mad at you. What else? Anything else, please? Anything else we need to know, please? Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Many of you will do that, okay? Some of you, the girl talk means you're probably going to talk it through with some of your friends, okay? Uh, we have the coffee cup, meeting and conversing, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. You might be meeting with friends so you can figure out what decision you want to make with this connection, okay? Others of you might be meeting up with this person and you're dating again, okay? You're dating again. Like, if we're going to do this, then we're going to tear down however we built this and we're going to create a new foundation, right? We're going we're gonna to start from the beginning. Hold on. Hand of Cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. So yeah, I feel like some of you might actually take the risk here, okay? All right, my babies. That's what I got for you, my loves. Thank you so much for being here. I know this was a long read, but I really wanted to do this tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do hope it resonates for you. If it does, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Don't forget to subscribe and come on back. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.